So shadow IT, and it, so correct me if I'm wrong here, Rob, but shadow IT in layman's purposes or layman's uh, terms is users are using services like IT services, my personal box or whatever, that is unbeknownst to the organization, correct? Yeah, you got it. Okay, perfect. So shadow data, organizations are sharing that data that you were talking about, and maybe they picked up the phone and said, hey, man, don't, don't share this file. Don't do this with the file. Don't do that with the file. But they shared it to Bob or whoever outside the organization. What are they doing with it? Maybe Bob outside the organization is sending it to a competitor, sending it to, you know, uh, sharing it out on the dark web to get money from your organization. As you mentioned, that code that you, they actually wrote, if they wrote that code, uh, it, I'm not even talking about AI aspects. I'm just saying that they're doing, you know, something that they're writing this code, they're putting the code out there. Maybe they can get money for it. How does the organization that that's their intellectual property know what's going on with their data that's sensitive to them? So that shadow data is anytime that data is being shared either internally or being, you know, uh, operated or accessed internally or externally, that is, you know, those activities, whether you're looking at the file, sharing the file, whatever the case may be, even printing of that file, we don't know what they're doing with it, but it's your data. And it, that's like saying, hey, do you want to give me access to your bank account? And I promise I won't drain all your funds, you know, it, but once you give me access, I can do whatever I want with it. And that's, you know, in a nutshell, the shadow data is, I don't have the visibility of that, of what's going on with my data that's sensitive to me.